Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Glacial Geek Battle Report. I am Phil, the Glacial Geek, coming to you here from Savannah Lion Games in Pooler, Georgia, where I'll be fighting a 1,750-point battle between my Gene Stealer cult and Devin Salamanders. So the story that we've got going on here today is that an Imperial planet found itself under siege of a Gene Stealer cult uprising. They had taken over the PDF, they had taken over all the manufactorums, and had uh, wreaked havoc upon the populace here on the planet. So, uh, the so Terra decided, what better way to cleanse a Xenos taint from your uh, from your planet than to send in the uh, the cleansing flame of the Emperor himself with the Salamanders? So he sent in a force of basically all flamers. <laughs> so this should be should be super brutal. We'll see how this goes. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be. Um, that's the story that we've got going on. We are going to be playing one of the new chapter approved missions. Uh, it's going to be the tactical gambit mission, which is basically what happens is uh, at the beginning of your turn, you draw up to four. Make sure you have four tactical objectives. But before you draw your tactical objectives, uh, you make a, uh, a call. One, two, three, or four. You can't choose zero. And it's basically you saying how many tactical objectives you think you can score in that turn. Um, if at the end of your turn uh, you haven't scored, uh, or at the end of your turn you, you figure out how many you scored, if you scored as many as you said uh, or more, then you get that many more additional victory points. But if you don't score that many, that many, your opponent gets that many. So if I went in and I said two, I was going to score two objective, uh, tactical objectives, and I scored t uh, two, three, or four tactical objectives, I would get two additional victory points. But if I only scored one, my opponent would get two additional victory points. So it's kind of crazy. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, it kind of also means that nobody's out of this game until the very end, which should be very interesting uh, to keep going because you could pull off a four tactical objective and get yourself four additional victory points to keep yourself in the game, which should be a lot of fun. Uh, so that's the story and the mission that we're going to be playing here. Before we go any further, though, let's show you the two armies that are going to be fighting it out today. So for the Gene Stealer cult, I'll be running a battalion detachment and a vanguard detachment leading off the battalion detachment. We have a Primus, a Magus, and an Acolyte Icon Ward. We have three five-man Acolyte hybrid squads. One is bare bones, one has a lash whip and bone sword, and one has a heavy rock saw. We have three ten-man neophyte hybrid squads. One squad has shotguns. The leader in that squad has a web pistol, a power pick. There's also a Weber, a flamer, and an icon in that. We have a second squad with auto guns and two mining lasers. We have a third squad with auto guns, a seismic cannon, a heavy stubber, a grenade launcher, and the leader has a bolt pistol and power maul. We have an armored sentinel with a las cannon and sentinel chainsaw. We have a Lehman Russ with three heavy flamers and a battle cannon. We have a rock grinder with a clearance incinerator, cache of demo charges. Then for the vanguard detachment, we have a patriarch. We have two squads of aberrants, one six-man squad with power picks and one five-man squad with power hammers. And last but not least, we have 15 pure strain gene stealers. Then for the salamanders, he'll be running a vanguard detachment. Leading off that detachment, we have Vulcan Hestan. We have a Primaris Ancient. We have a five-man squad of aggressors with flamestorm gauntlets. We have two company veterans, one with a bolter, bolt pistol, and chainsword. One with a power sword, bolt pistol, and bolter. We have a Demos Pattern Predator with heavy flamer sponsons and an Infernus Cannon. We have a Land Raider Redeemer with a Multi Melta and a Hunter Killer Missile. We have a Leviathan Dreadnought with Cyclonic Melta Lance, a Storm Cannon Array, and two heavy flamers. And last but not least, we have Brayarth Ash Mantle. All right, so going over deployment now, I've got a 10-man squad of neophytes here. These are the ones with the flamer and the webbers and the shotguns. We've got my Lehman Russ here. We've got my rock grinder. Inside of there is one of the acolyte squads, the one with the uh, lash whip and bone sword. We've got the five-man acolyte squad with the rock saw sitting back here. I've got a 10-man squad of uh, neophytes inside here. This is the one with the seismic cannon and heavy stubber. Uh, we've got my, um, my uh, armored sentinel over here. We've got a five-man squad of acolytes over here. These are the, the bare-bone ones. Uh, in reserves, I have my uh, my pure strains. I've got my magos. 
I've got my five man. I've got both the, the aberrants. We've got the primus. We've got the icon ward, who's going to be having the relic of the 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 icon of the cult ascendant, which gives uh, all units within six inches of him plus one strength. We've got my patriarch, who's going to be my warlord, who's going to have the new uh, the new warlord trait from the chapter approved, which means that units within six inches of him can actually um, can actually heroically intervene, even if they aren't characters. And I also have a 10-man squad of neophytes with the two mining lasers in uh, cult ambush. Uh, going over deployment now for the salamanders, we've got his leviathan dread here. We've got his um, his uh, primary his aggressors and his primaris ancient over around over here. We've got his land raider there. Inside there is Vulcan Histan. We've got Brayarth uh, Ash Mantle over here. We've got his Demos Pattern uh, Predator over there. And in the back on that objective over there, we've got the uh, the company, um, what are they called? The company veterans. So they are just sitting back there uh, holding that objective. All right, so as of, uh, and as of right now, uh, the Dark, uh, the Dark Angels, who, the Gene Stealer cult is going to be going first unless he can seize the initiative. Looking for a six. Yay! You know what? We even talked about this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's rough. <laughs> uh, yeah, we were talking about it because he uh, his first two rolls uh, have been ones uh, to determine who placed the first objective and then to see who was going to go first. Um, so he'd been rolling ones and he was like, but now I'm going to roll a six because I got my ones out of the way. And uh, yeah, he did. <laughs> so he's going to be going, uh, the, um, the salamanders are going to be going first. So we'll come back to you with uh, the objectives that he draws. All right, so my opponent gave the gambit of one. He felt he was just going to go uh, go go easy the first time just to see how it plays out. And then he drew Psychological Warfare, Defend Objective 4, which is in my deployment zone, Lightning Strike, so he has to kill something that started uh, the turn in my uh, deployment zone, and uh, he rolled Christ uh, Mission Critical, which he rolled a 5-4, which is kind of out in no man's land over there. So we'll see if he can get any of these this turn. So we'll come back to you after a movement phase for Salamanders here on turn one. All right, movement phase here for the Salamanders on turn one. Uh, he, uh, his Leviathan Dreadnought moved up. His aggressors and the Ancient there advanced up. His Land Raider moved up. Brayarth advanced up. His Predator back over there just moved up into uh, the building over there. And then his, uh, his company veterans, thank you. I don't know why that... Of all the things that I have a hard time remembering, veterans apparently is the one I'm having a hard time today. Uh, company veterans advanced up over that way. So that is it for the uh, movement phase. We will come back to you with the shooting phase. All right, so starting off the shooting phase, his Leviathan Dreadnought's going to fire into my Lehman Russ. So we're going to use the, uh, the, the what is it called again? Storm the Storm Cannon Array. So it's uh, heavy 10, right? Yep. Heavy 10. So uh, BS2. BS2, so hitting on threes. All right. Salamanders, we'll let him re-roll one, but I'm gonna save that for the uh, okay. Save that for the multiplayer. All right, so now here comes the uh, strength, so seven. strength seven. So looking for fives to wound. We've got uh, two wounds. Negative two. AP minus two. So we've got uh, two five up saves. Uh, making one. All right, so now the cyclonic uh, mel melta lance is going to fire into him. So we've got two uh, d uh, two d three shots. So we've got uh, one two three shots. These are going to be hitting on uh, threes as well. All right, re-rolling one because of the salamander rule. All right, so that's three hits. Strength eight, right? Yep. Strength eight, so wounding on fours. Uh, we got one wound. Uh, re-rolling one because of the salamander rule. All right, so that's one wound. AP... Melta. Melta four, so it's an AP minus four, so that just goes through. So D6 wounds, one wound. He's gonna spend a command point to re-roll that. Into a five, much better. <laughs> and now his land raider is going to fire everything into my Lehman Russ over here. So we're going to go with the assault cannon first. So these are going to be hitting on threes. Fours. Oh, hitting on four. No, because he uh, he's got power of the machine spirit. So hitting threes. on threes. Hitting on threes. All right. All right. So that's strength six. So wounding on fives. We got two wounds. Uh, AP minus one. So two four up saves. And I'll make them both. Woo! And now the multi melta hitting on three. That's a hit. Wounding on a four. That is not a wound, but the salamander rule. No, still not a wound. And it's hunter killer missile hitting on a uh, three. That's a hit. Strength eight. So wounding on a four. That is a wound. AP 
minus one second. All right, AP minus two, so five up save. No, goes through. Damage. Yes. Six damage. Yes. Ugh. That is brutal. That is brutal. Does he explode? No, he doesn't. Uh, but that is first blood. All right, so he pops smoke, and that is it for the salamanders here on turn one. Um, I mean, it doesn't seem like it did a lot, but he took away like really my biggest, <laughs> my biggest threat to all of his tanks. So uh, we'll have to see how this goes. So that's it for the Salamander's turn here on turn one. Uh, we will come back to you with the uh, cards that he achieved. All right, so my opponent uh, scored Lightning Strike when he killed my uh, my Lehman Russ over there. So he scores the one point from that. That one point also gains him the Gambit. So he has two points now, and he's going to get rid of Defend Objective Four. So we'll come back to you with the cards drawn for the Gene Stealer Cult here on turn one. All right, so I drew uh, Secure Objective 4, Master of the Warp, Kingslayer, and Domination, and I declared uh, one for the Gambit because I didn't know what I was getting there that first turn. So, um, actually pretty good draw. I like that draw. So we'll come back to you after movement phase for the Gene Stealer Cult here on turn one. All right, movement phase for the Gene Stealer Cult here on turn one. Uh, these guys uh, moved up over this way. These guy, This guy uh, moved up over this way. These guys stayed on their objective here. He stood over here. These guys stayed on their objective over here. These guys over here, they cult ambushed in over here with the Primus getting a six, and they advanced up over that way. These guys dropped in with the Magus over here with cult ambush. These guys, I used the new stratagem that let me roll two dice. I rolled a one and a six for their uh, their cult ambush. So they ran up here more than one inch. They look a little closer, but they're one inch away from all of those guys over there, including my patriarch over here. These guys rolled in over here. They rolled a, uh, a four for their cult ambush and dropped in over here on this objective, looking over here. So uh, that's it for movement phase. Uh, we will come back to you with the psychic phase. All right, so here we go into the psychic phase. We're gonna start off with my Magos is going to cast uh, mass hypnosis onto his aggressors over here. This is like super key because if this doesn't go off, if these gene stealers charge them, they're gonna be having 2d6 each, right? So that's 10d6 auto hits from their flamers, which is not good for gene stealers. <laughs> so I really need this to go off for this, uh, for my, my, little, my little gambit over here to work off. So here we go. Looking for a seven, show me that seven. Get in it with an eight. And now he's going to cast Might From Beyond onto my Gene Stealers there. Uh, that does not go off. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, yeah. Uh, mm, I need seven. No, I'm not going to, I'm not going to spend a command point on that. All right, I lied. I am going to spend the command point because he is tough five and uh, I would like to have strength five on those guys. So looking for a five or six. I got a 33% chance of this working. Come on, do it. Show the fill face. Yeah, with the fill face. Woo. All right, starting off the shooting phase, these guys are going to fire into his Leviathan Dreadnought over here. So we're going to go with the shotguns first. There's seven guys with shotguns there. So hitting on fours. All righty. Wow, pretty good shooting. But now let's see if I can get a bunch of sixes. Show me them fill faces. Show me them fill faces. Uh, got one fill face. So that's going to be one at regular, yeah, regular save. No AP on that. Two so, plus. Two plus. And he's good. All right, so now I'm going to shoot both the Weber and the Web Pistol into him over here. Um, they're both, they're different strengths, but they effectively uh, come out to the same thing because I'm going to need sixes to wound. So it's 2d3, uh, 2d3 shots. All right, so one, two, three. And now they're going to be hitting on fours. Got one wound, or one hit. Wounding on a six. Show me that fill face. No, no fill face. All right, so now we're going to move on to my Rock Grinder here. He's going to fire into his Leviathan Dreadnought. We're going to start with the Cache of Demo Charges since that squad is inside there. So it's a uh, Salt D6. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm going to spend a command point on that. Six, I'll take that. So it's six shots. Um, these are going to be uh, hitting on fours. All right, so we got four hits. Strength eight. So wounding on fours, we got two wounds, AP minus three. So four two, four up, invul saves. He makes one, one goes through, D3 damage, uh, three damage. 
And now the clearance center is going to fire in there. Salt D6. Got six on that one. These are strength. <laughs> My dice are going hot today. Uh, so these are going to now do assault. Uh, these are strength five, so looking for fives to wound. Uh, okay, one wound. AP minus one. So we got a three up save. And he's good. Another heavy stubber into him, hitting on fives because he moved. Uh, getting one. That is not a wound. So now this squad over here is going to fire into his land raider. We're going to go with the uh, mining lasers first. We got two mining lasers. These are hitting on fives because they uh, moved. Oh, I wish I could have kept that fill face. Uh, no, no hits. And eight auto gun shots hitting on uh, fours. Oops. I'm telling you, I'm just tossing, tossing dice. If I can't take him down with my shooting, I may as well just break him with my dice. Uh, wounding on sixes. Uh, no, no wounds there. All right, now my last cannon from my sentinel is going to fire into his, um, into his, whatchamacallit, Demos. his Demos pattern um, predator over there. So it's going to be um, minus one to hit because he pops smoke and is going to get a play. He's going to get cover because he's more than 50% obscured while in there. So here we go. Looking for a uh, five to hit. No, no hit there. All right, so now the Acolyte Icon Ward is going to fire his uh, auto pistol. Uh, that's a hit. That is a wound! Oh man. <laughs> and that's a save with a six. All right, so that's it for the shooting phase into the assault phase. We're gonna start with these neophytes charging into his Leviathan over here. So he's going to get to overwatch here. We're gonna start, uh, they're, they're just over eight inches away. So he can't use the heavy flamers, but he is gonna get to roll everything else. So here comes the, uh, the, the what is this? Cannon. The storm cannon uh, array. So we got two hits with that. These are gonna be wounding on like, ones <laughs> wound out twos uh so that's two wounds ap is two so that's uh two dead and then we've got the uh the lance is two d3 so it's going to be uh three shots hitting on sixes no nothing there uh re-rolling one because of salamanders no so that goes through so their charge distance looking for eight inches on the charge here no Man, all right, bump, bump. All right, so now my uh, my rock grinder is going to charge into his leviathan over here. So start we're going to go out with the heavy flamers over here. Melt, melt the lance first. Oh, the melt the lance first. So two d three shots. All right, so we've got uh, uh, he's going to reroll one with the uh, the salamander rule. No, this is a command point reroll. Oh, command point reroll on that one. Sorry. So he's got three, uh, four, five shots on sixes. Nope. Now, now he's going to use the, the the salamander reroll. No, so none of those hit. Sad. <laughs> sad face, sad panda. Uh, <laughs> here comes the uh, the okay. s storm cannon array. Got a couple hits there. These are strength uh, seven. So ooh, one second. All right, toughness seven. So looking for fours. I got one wound. Rerolling one because of salamanders. Nope. So one wound. AP negative two. So he's gonna have a six up save. Show me that fill first. Hey, with the fill phase, woo! And now the heavy flamer is firing in here. So we've got, ooh, 11. Oh, that's killer. Strength five, right? Yes. So looking for uh, fives to wound. Uh, we got three. Uh, three, so we got three wounds in there. Um, thank you for clearing the board. Uh, so three wounds, AP minus one, so looking for five ups. Uh, make none of them, and then I've got uh, rugged construction. So looking for six, <laughs> yay, and then boo from my opponent, and then sixes. Uh, no, nothing there. So he takes three wounds, but then his charge distance is totally in. All right, so now my patriarch's going to charge into his uh, into his aggressors over there. He doesn't get to Overwatch because of uh, um, mind control, not mind control, um, mass hypnosis, and he is totally in. And now my gene stealers are going to charge into his uh, aggressors and his ancient. Uh, yeah, just his aggressors and his ancient. So his ancient gets to fire over here with his uh, bolt rifle. No, no hits there, but re-rolling because of salamanders. No, nothing there. Their charge distance. Yeah, it's totally in. And now my aberrants are going to fi uh, charge into him over here. So they're going to be um, firing overwatch here. So we got two bolters hitting on uh, sixes. Got one hit, re-rolling one. Uh, don't you get to reroll? Is it one per unit? That one, you get per to unit. one per unit gets to reroll. Okay. Uh, wounding on a, uh, a six is a wound. Looking for a five up save. No, it goes through. But then on a six up, because of the cult icon there, I get to ignore it. 
No, so one of them takes a wound. So now their charge distance is going to be uh, nine inches. And I get in with nine. All right, so now my Patriarch is gonna start us off in the fight phase. He's going to attack into the aggressors. I've got six attacks hitting on twos. All right, so all hits. Strength six, toughness five, looking for threes to wound. Rerolling wounds because of his weapon. So that is six wounds. Two of them are AP minus six. So they don't have an invul save, do they? So two are just gonna be dead because it's also three wounds each. Uh, so now we've got uh, three, uh, four I should say, that are um, AP minus three, so six ups. Uh, no, and they are going to be, so you've got, they're gonna be D3 each. So we'll do the first one first. That's three, so it's a dead guy. That's two, that's a dead guy. And that's two, that's a dead guy. So that's that's all of them are dead. All right. All right, so now because of the uh, the uh, the banner in there, he gets to roll and on a, uh, what is it, a four up? Three plus. A three plus. Because of the banner. Oh, because the, because the banner of the uh, Emperor Ascendant, he put as the, uh, the relic on there. On a three plus, they get to uh, attack back. So looking for these. Uh, so four of them will get to attack back. All right, so now two of them are going to be going into the uh, the uh, my my patriarch, and then uh, two are going to go into the genius. So we'll come back to you with that. These are the two that are going to go into the patriarch first. Uh, these are, are going to be hitting on fours because they're using their power fists. I got one hit, re-rolling one because of the salamander rule. That's two hits. Strength eight, going to be wounding on threes, uh, getting uh, two wounds, two five up invul saves. And I make them both. Woo! And now the other two into the Gene Stealers themselves. I uh, got one hit. Wounding on a, uh, a two. That's a wound. Um, looking for a five up invul save. No, that goes through. Uh, so three damage onto the, uh, the one wound guys. All right. All right, so they've consolidated into various areas over here, and uh, my uh, I've got nine that are going to be attacking into his um, his ancient over there. So I've got uh, forty five attacks. So they've five attacks each there um, that are going to be going in there. So it's going to be forty five attacks into him uh, that are in range over there. So we got forty five attacks. We're going to go start with fifteen each. So fifteen um, hitting on twos because they're within range of the patriarch there. Alrighty. These are now going to be um, rending claws. These are going to be uh, strength five, so wounding on threes. Sixes are AP four. So we got one that's AP four. So um, one that's just gonna go through with a wound there. And then we've got uh, six uh, AP minus one. So six uh, uh, four up saves. So he makes all but one. All right, so he takes uh, two wounds so far. And here come the next 15 on twos. All right, getting a fair number of ones there. Strength five, so wounding on threes. He did. Uh, oh yeah, the sixes, those are gonna be AP four. That's enough to kill him, so he is dead. Does he come back, he uh, gets to use his power there because he hasn't been taken off the board yet on a four up? Three up. A uh, three up, so he does get to attack back. Punching one. Punching one in the face. That's a hit. Wound on a four. No, no wound there. But get to reroll because of salamanders. No, still no wound. All right, so now my rock grinder is going to attack into his leviathan there after con uh, consoling over there. So this is going to be uh, additional, uh, because he's got the drill dozer blade, he gets an additional D3 attacks on the charge. So an additional one attack. So he's going to have seven attacks. These are going to be hitting on uh, fives. Uh, got two hits. Strength eight, so wounding on fours. Got one wound, AP minus three, so four up in vol. No, goes through, D3 wounds. Uh, one wound. I'm gonna spend a command point on that one. Uh, it's still down to a one, womp womp. All right, so now these guys, uh, my aberrants, are gonna attack into his, um, his company veterans over there. So we've got uh, eight attacks between the four guys that are in range. I held one guy back, so they're in range of the uh, Icon Bearer, so they've got plus one strength. These are going to be hitting on fours. All right. All right. All right. These are going to be wounding on twos. Uh, three wounds, AP minus, uh, one second. 
Yep, AP minus three, so looking for six ups. No, they are dead because it's three damage each. All right, now he's going to activate his Land Raider with six attacks into the uh, Gene Stealers there, hitting on sixes. Getting one hit, re-rolling one. Be uh, no, he doesn't. Oh, because it's a tank. He doesn't get to re-roll there. Sorry. Uh, so that's going to be a wound right there with a six. Five up in Vol save. Uh, ooh, he's good. All right, so now his Leviathan Dreadnought's going to attack into my Gene Stealers. So he's got two attacks because they're ba it's base four, um, but he has to minus... Uh, one attack for each close combat weapon that he uh, takes off of it and replaces with a shooty weapon. So that's going to be minus two. So two attacks. Hitting on twos into my Gene Stealers. So you got re-rolling one because of uh, Salamander's rules. So that's two hits. Um, now these are going to be wounding on twos because of strength eight. Uh, wow, that was taking his time oh, there. <laughs> Keep, keeping the suspense going over there. All right, so we got two five up invul saves. Uh, make one of them. And that is the end of the Gene Stealer Cult turn here on turn one. A uh, pretty fantastic first turn, if I do say so myself. Um, uh, so nobody has to take leadership tests. They lost two guys, but their leadership is eight because their leader's still there. Um, and these guys lost two, but they are with the Patriarch, which always passes morale tests when you're near him. And everyone else is fine. So that is it for uh, the Gene Stealer Cult turn here. We'll come back to you with the cards that I got this turn. All right, I got a pretty fantastic uh, set here. I got Secure Objective 4, I got Master of the Warp, I didn't get three Psychic Powers, I only got the two, and I did get Domination. I've got this objective here, he's got this objective here, they've got that objective there, these guys have that objective there, these guys back here have this objective here, and he they have that objective there. So, brutal, 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 brutal. I've, I've, I don't think I've ever gotten domination before. So that's, uh, I, I, that's pretty, I, I mean, I feel pretty happy about that. <laughs> so here we go with domination, D3 plus three victory points. <laughs> with a fill face. So six victory points from that. So that's eight victory points plus the one victory point from a gambit that I had. <laughs> my opponent's just putting on his sunglasses because of the shine from my dice uh, luck is going on over here. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty awesome. So six, seven, eight, nine points on that first turn because of the gambit point there. So uh, we will uh, come back to you with the cards drawn for the salamanders here on turn two. All right, so my opponent on his gambit said two and then drew his cards. So he drew domination and hold the line, which are going to be very difficult. He has mission critical. Um, I mean, domination's impossible. He's only got five units left now. Um, you got mission critical still on the board and psychological warfare. Uh, so we'll see what happens. But he had the gambit of two. So we'll come back to you after movement phase for the salamanders here on turn two. Yeah. All right, movement phase here for the salamanders on turn two. His... Um, uh, uh, Vulcanistan got out of the uh, Land Raider over here, facing down the horde of Gene Stealers. His Land Raider pulled out of uh, combat there, so did his Leviathan Dreadnought. Uh, Brayarth is making his way across over this way, and his uh, Predator is making his way out over that way. And that's it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the shooting phase. All right, starting off the shooting phase, his uh, his uh, Predator here is going to fire into my dude bros over here. You can see him around the corner over there. So we're going to go with the um, Infernus, cannon, Infernus first. cannon first, so 2d6 shots. And the Storm Bolter is going to go into there. And the Storm Bolter is going to go into there, so uh, 2d6 shots. And then the heavy fire. Yeah. All right, so that's nine shots. It's going to be a pretty crazy uh, strength six, right? Oh, strength five. Uh, so wounding on, um, whatchamacallit's wounding on uh, threes, yes. All right. Do you get to reroll one? Oh, no, because of the tank. Sorry. So that's going to be uh, seven AP minus one or AP minus one. So these are going to be seven six ups. Uh, no, I made zero of them, and they are dead. And now the Storm Bolter into the Aberrants over there. Two, sh uh, two shots. That's two hits. That is no wounds, but get, uh, yeah, no wounds. No wounds. All right, so now Brayarth is going to shoot into the Aberrants over here. So he's got 2d6 uh, with the Flamers, so that's going to be uh, uh, six shots. How many guys are in that unit? There's going to be, uh, there's six guys in that unit, so... I'm gonna use command point. He's gonna use a command point, uh, reroll that one into a four. So he's gonna have um, nine, shots. nine shots that are gonna be coming in here. These are going to be strength six, strength six so wounding on threes. 
Okay. All right. Re rolling re one because of salamander rule. All right. So that is uh, six wounds. AP minus two plus one because they're in cover. So we're looking at uh, six ups. Ooh, and I make two of them. So uh, it's damaged three. So that means four of them are going to be dead because the aberrants have a special rule that minuses one from the damage. Uh, so that's still two damage, killing uh, one for each of those failed saves. All right, so now Vulcan of Stan's gonna fire into my rock grinder over here. So D6 shots, four shots, hitting on, uh, not hitting on anything because they're flamers. Uh, this is gonna be wounding on fives. Rerolling because of himself. All right, so it's two wounds. AP minus one, so two five ups. Uh, failed both of them, and two six ups because of rugged construction. Uh, making one of them, so taking one wound. I'll go pop smoke. All right, these guys are going to pop smoke because uh, just looking at it, it looks like there's there's no reason they can't, uh, even though they fell back because it doesn't say it's a shooting attack instead of it's just you can't shoot anything. So uh, they are going to be popping smoke. And now into the assault phase, Vulcanistan is going to charge into them. And he is way hit. All right, and now uh, he is going to charge into the Gene Sealers. He needs an eight inch charge. Oh, that is cocked. That is real cocked. <laughs> oh, that is cocked. Let's just do it into them. We had this thing the whole time. I don't even know why we didn't do it for this one. Four, and he is in. Woof, barely, but in. All right, so I did heroically intervene there into Brayarth, and now Brayarth is going to attack, but he can only attack into the Gene Stealer, so he's going to start us off there. He's got four attacks, hitting on twos. All right, all but one. Rerolling one because of the uh, Salamander rule, so that is four hits. Wounding on twos. Rerolling one because of the Salamander rule. Pretty good, so that's four wounds. Negative four. Negative four, so we're going to have four or five up in Vol saves. And I make two of them. And now Vulcanistan is going to attack in. He's got four attacks hitting on twos. All right, rerolling one because of um, the salamanders. So he's got three attacks. His warlord trait is the one that's plus one strength because that's what they get. So that is three wounds. We got three five up invul saves. Uh, no, fail three of them. All right, so starting off with my guys, my patriarch is going to attack into Brayarth there. So he's got six attacks hitting on twos. Ooh. Failed two, that's not what I needed. Uh, these are going to be uh, strength, ooh, one second. All right, he's strength six and he's toughness nine. So we have four hits, wounding on fives, re-rolling wounds. All right, re-rolling wounds. All right, so we got three wounds. One is a six, so that's AP minus six um, and three damage. And then we've got uh, two that are AP minus three. So what's he got, a four up in vol? He's got a five up in vol. Five up in vol, so we'll do the two that are not sixes, so the two fives. So those go through, those will be D3 wounds. And then we've got the one um, six, that's AP minus six, so it's still a five up, but it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be uh, three damage, so. So first we got the, the okay. invul save for yeah. it. Yeah, so five up invul save. No, so that goes through. So he's got three wounds from that, and then D3 from these other ones. Uh, another three, four, five. Uh, so one second. And he's got a four up ignoring wounds roll, so it's going to be eight four ups. Um, he makes two of them, so he will be taking six wounds. Still alive. All right, so now my gene stealers are going to activate. Uh, three are going to go into Brayarth, five are going to go into Vulcan. So we're going to go the ones into Vulcan first. So I've got um, uh, five guys. Yeah, that's probably good. Nothing's coming over here right now. Um, so they've got four techs each now because. They're uh, below 10, so that means that they have three base, but they still have Might From Beyond onto them. So that means that they're going to be up to five, um, up to four attacks. So uh, four attacks each from five guys there. So we've got 20 dice here. Uh, these are going to be hitting on twos because the Patriarch is over there. All right. Uh, one second. All right, so he's uh, their strength five now because of uh, Might From Beyond and he's toughness four, so looking for threes to wound. All right, so he's got a three up invul save, so these sixes uh, don't actually mean anything. So he's got three, six, nine, 10, 11, three up saves to make. Oop. One second. 
Three up. All right, 11 three ups. Here we go. Uh, wow, failed two of them. Pretty good. All right, now the three guys into Brayarth over there. So we've got four attacks each from them, hitting on twos. All right. These are now strength five because of um, Might From Beyond. These are now going to be wounding on fives. All right, so we've got three wounds here, two of which are sixes. Uh, these mean that the two sixes are going to be five ups, and the one five is going to be a three up. So we've got the one three up. That's good. And then we've got two five ups. Oh, and he makes one, and that's killer. That's the big difference. But then he's got the one uh, ignoring on a four up. Yeah, so that goes through. So he's down to one wound. Oh, so close. All right, and that is the end of the Salamander's turn here on turn two. Um, he did, uh, well, we'll have to see, because at the end of the turn, I do have to take a morale test with those guys over there. So uh, their leadership seven, they lost four guys. So four plus five, four is eight. So they would lose uh, one guy. Um, oh, I am, I'm going to spend my last command point on that. Into yes. a six, so I yes. lose the whole squad. Yes. That was uh, that was painful, and uh, because of that, he did score psychological warfare. Um, but that is all he got. Um, what do we remember? He said two. So I will actually get uh, the two uh, wounds. Do you want to get rid of domination? I imagine. Yes. Yeah, he's bye getting bye. rid of he's getting rid of domination, but he did get psychological warfare. So he gets one point for psychological warfare, um, but I get two points because of the uh, the the gambit that he did. He wanted to try to see if he could get more, and just drew uh, a little rough. So that is it for the uh, the salamander's turn here on turn two. So we'll come back to you after movement phase for the dark uh, the the cheat stealer cult here on turn two. All right, so for the gambit, I said two, and then I drew my card, so I still have Kingslayer. I drew Assassinate, Secure Objective 3, and Advance. So that's uh, it for the cards drawn here. We'll come back to you after movement phase. Movement phase for the Gene Stealer Cult here on turn two. My Armored Sentinel and the Neophytes in this building stood still. These guys came in at the end of the movement phase from Cult Ambush that I put them in there with the, uh, the Return to Shadows uh, stratagem, which was pretty sweet. So they're back here looking on him nine inches away. I rolled a two, uh, so I got him over there. And then these guys over here are uh, looking on, uh, moved up, uh, my neophytes moved up over here, either stupidly or bravely. My rock grinder moved up here, super jealous of his big fancy looking tank. Uh, these guys, the, the gene stealers and my patriarch all stayed in combat with Brayarth and uh, Vulcan Hastan. My Magos put on his track shoes and ran up here 12 inches. My uh, Primus chose um, Cowardice as the stronger form of Valor and hid himself against the wall over there. And both my Icon Ward and my Aberrants over there uh, advanced one inch each. So <laughs> they're making their way up slowly but surely. So that is it for the movement phase here for the, uh, for the uh, Gene Stealer Cult. We'll come back to you after with the shooting, uh, the psychic phase. All right, starting off the second phase, my Magos is going to cast Mass Hypnosis onto his Land Raider over there. Looking for seven. Getting it with a 10. And now my Patriarch is going to cast um, Mass Hyp uh, Strength from Beyond onto my, onto my G-Stealers. My opponent is trying to put the fluence onto these dice to make them fail. Uh, no. Ooh, seven. Yes, they're good. Just good. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. And down go the shades. <laughs> All right, starting off the shooting phase, my Rock Grinder is going to throw everything into his Leviathan Dread there. He popped the smoke, so I'm going to be uh, minus one to hit. We're going to start with the Demolition Charges. Uh, Salt D6. Six. six. The sixes have been flowing like water today. So these are going to be hitting on fives instead of fours because of, um, because of the um, minus one to hit. Oof, okay. So I got two hits. Uh, strength eight, so wounding on fours. Got two wounds, AP minus three. Uh, both go through, right? AP minus three. I'm gonna use a command He's point. He's gonna use a command, command point reroll. I think this is the last command point. No, so it goes through. So it's uh, 2d3 uh, damage. Uh, two, three, four damage. Sorry, he's got a four up invul, so one of those uh, two, one of those didn't go through, but they were both two damage, so he just takes two damage. And now the clearance incinerator is gonna fire into him. One hit, uh, no wound. Another heavy stubber is gonna fire, looking for sixes. Uh, getting two hits. 
Uh, getting two. One second, one second. Yeah, I need a sixes to wound, so those do not wound. Now these neophytes are gonna fire into him. We're gonna go with the shotguns first. Hitting on fours. Minus one. Uh, minus one, so hitting on fives. Thank you, sir. I forgot about that. Wounding on sixes. Getting, whoa, two sixes. <laughs> so two wounds, two regular saves. <laughs> Fails one of them. <laughs> and now we're gonna have the two um, Webbers are gonna go attack in there. So we're gonna have two, three attacks. Hitting on fives because of that. So we got one hit. Looking for a six. No, no wound there. Yes. And then we have a Flamer. Getting six hits. <laughs> All right. Looking for sixes to wound. Good. Getting two wounds. Regular saves. Failed another one. And now my armored sentinel is going to fire into his Leviathan Dreadnought. Hitting on a five because of the minus one to hit from the smoke launchers. That is a hit. Wounding on a three. That's a wound. AP minus three. And he's good with a six. So now my neophytes in the building here are going to fire into his Leviathan Dreadnought there. So we've got, uh, we're going to start with the grenade launcher. These are, this is going to be hitting on a uh, five. Nope, no hit there. All right, so now the seismic cannon is going to fire into him. He's got to do the long wave because he's uh, more than 12 inches away. So heavy four, hitting on uh, fives because of the minus one to hit. So we got three hits. Wounding on sixes. Getting one wound. Regular save. And he's good. Heavy stubber. Uh, one hit. No wound. And then six auto guns. Looking for five, so we got uh, two hits. One wound. And a save. Sometimes. And now the, uh, my, my acolytes there are gonna fire into his predator um, because gotta throw your dice in, why not? So we got four shots hitting on fours. Uh, we got three hits. Wounding on sixes, show me them fill faces. Uh, nope, no wounds there. All right, so that's it for the shooting phase. On to the assault phase. My neophytes are gonna charge into his Leviathan Dreadnought there. So his Overwatch, these are the um, Storm, Cannon. Storm Cannon array. Hitting on sixes, getting one. Strength, uh, what is it? Strength is seven. Strength seven, so wounding on a two. That's a wound, AP enough to just pop a guy. Flamers. And the Flamers. Getting a seven. Forgot about the flamers. <laughs> uh, strength five, right? Yeah. So wounding on threes. So we've got uh, four Sal wounds. Salamander. Oh, salamander reroll wound. So we got five wounds. AP minus one. Is it heavy flamers? Yeah. So looking for six ups. Uh, making one of them. So another four are dead. And then we've got the laser array. Cyclonic melt. Cyclonic melt a lance. I was way off. <laughs> Okay, so he gets um, four attacks. Getting two and re-rolling one. Wait, uh, you already re-rolled the, oh, the one to wound. Yep. That's right, so the one to hit. Uh, so these are now gonna be wounding on twos and that's just gonna kill another yes. two. So that is six, that's right? That's, no, it's seven. Was that seven? One second. All right, the brave icon bear is left and he is in because he's brave. And now he's gonna charge into both. He's engaged and he had uh, mass hypnosis on him so he can't overwatch. And look, he is totally in. And now they're going to charge into his uh, predator over here. Only the storm bolter can attack. So we've got four shots hitting on uh, sixes. Nothing there but re-rolling one because of salamanders. Nope, nothing there. Their charge distance looking for nine inches because they just came in. Ooh, so close but not close enough. All right, so we're gonna start off with my neophyte hybrid over there. One attack hitting on a four. And nope, that's not a hit. And his icon only lets him reroll one. All right, so now my rock render is going to activate. He's got D3 additional wounds on the char attacks on the charge, so additional three attacks. So we're gonna have a total of nine attacks coming in here. These are going to be hitting on five. These are all gonna go into the uh, Leviathan. All hitting on fives. Ooh, wow, that is really really good so five hits uh wounding on fours we got two wounds ap minus three 
Uh, one goes through. That is going to be D3 wounds, I believe. Uh, two wounds. And now I'm going to activate my pure strain. Six are going to go into Vulcan. Two are going to go into Brayarth. So we got the six going into Vulcan over here. Hitting on twos because of the Patriarch being there. All right. All right, and we will then be uh, strength five because I did get off. This is all because I got off uh, might from beyond. Um, strength five, toughness four, wounding on threes. Okay, that's a big chunk there that makes a difference. And he's got a three up invul save anyway. So he's got um, six, seven saves to make. Seven three ups. And he failed uh, four of them, so he is dead. And that is going to be Slay the Warlord. Mouth. And now we've got two of the Gene Stealers into Brayarth, hitting on twos. All right, all hits. Strength five, wounding, uh, toughness nine, right? So wounding on fives. Okay, so we've got uh, two that are sixes. Those are AP minus four. This is AP minus one. So we've got... Uh, one at AP minus one, that is a good save. And then we've got two at AP minus four, four ups, right? Five ups. Five ups. So he makes uh, makes one, fails one. So that's one damage. But he gets as a four plus, ignore wounds. If he fails this, he's dead. If he makes this, we'll have to see what happens. No! no! <laughs> he dies to a measly little gene stealer. But does he explode? It's on a six, right? Don't do it. Don't do it. No, he doesn't explode. So Brayoth goes down. And now his land raider is going to activate into my rock grinder. Six shots hitting on sixes. No, nothing there. And the dreadnought's going to go into the rock grinder. Uh, one uh, reroll because of salamander. So that's two hits. Strength uh, eight, right? Yep. So wounding on threes. We got one wound. AP uh, rerolling because of salamanders. Keep forgetting about the salamanders. No so that's uh, no AP. So two four ups. Uh, make them both. Woo! All right, and that is the end of the Gene Stealer cult turn. He is going to run away because he lost seven guys from his squad, and he cannot pass that test. So going over the cards that I scored here, I got I did not get advance, and I'm going to actually discard advance. Um, I did uh, get secure objective three. Oh no, I got rid of. I didn't get secure objective three because I ran off of it. But I did get assassinate, and I did get uh, Kingslayer. So Kingslayer is D3 uh, victory points. Uh, giving me uh, two victory points from that. So uh, I got two victory points from that. I got one victory point from that. And I also had two for my, um, whatchamacallit, the uh, gambit. Thank you, sir, from the gambit. So that's going to be an additional five victory points this turn. So we'll come back to you with the cards drawn for the salamanders here on turn three. All right, so my opponent uh, gave the gambit of uh, two, and then he drew defend objective six, Area, which is all the way in the back there with my, my neophytes. Uh, area denial, still has uh, mission critical objective five and uh, hold the line. So we'll come back to you after movement phase for the salamanders here on turn three. All right, movement phase for the salamanders here on turn three. His, um, his Leviathan Dread is falling back over this way. His Land Raider is falling back over this way. His... Um, Predator is moving back over that way, deciding to try to go and flame my um, my aberrants over there. And that is it for the movement phase. So we'll come back to you with the shooting phase. Yeah. All right, shooting phase here. We're going to have, uh, he is going to fire a heavy flamer and the flame storm cannon into my aberrants. And he's going to have that one heavy flamer and the storm bolter into my uh, acolytes over there. So we're going to start over there. We're going to do the heavy flamer into the acolytes. One hit. Uh, no wound there. And then we've got the Storm Bolter, four shots. Hitting on threes. Got uh, three hits. Wounding on um, uh, wounding on toughness. Yeah, threes. So we've got two wounds. Two five ups. And I failed them both. And now we've got the Heavy Flamer into my Aberrants. Five hits. Strength five, wounding uh, toughness four, so wounding on threes. Whoa, we got two wounds. Uh, two um, uh, six ups. No, failed those, but uh, I get to reroll. I get to roll six up, ignoring wounds because of the icon ward. 
and I make whoa. It was almost two. It wanted to be two, but it's just one. So one of those, the one guy with the one wound left there is going to dead. And now the flamestorm cannon, two d six shots. So we've got uh, seven shots that are going to be coming in here. Uh, these are going to be strength six, right? So wounding on threes. All right, re-rolling one because of the, uh, oh no, because it's a tank. I keep forgetting it's a tank. So we've got four here that are AP minus two, right? One second. All right, so it's actually strength five, uh, not strength six, but it's still wounding on threes because their toughness four. Uh, but now they're going to be AP minus one. So these are going to be um, looking for six ups. Making whoa, two of them, which is pretty good. I'll take that. And then we've got um, two ignore because it's two damage. But uh, it gets reduced down to one damage because of the aberrant special rule. So now six ups, ignoring those from the icon ward. Uh, no, failed both of those. So it's one more dead. <laughs> All right, and that's it for shooting. There's not going to be any assaults. So that is the end of the um, the uh, salamander's turn here on turn three. Uh, these guys lost two guys, so two plus one is good. So they are good. They lost two guys, but they have a leadership of eight there, and they are good. So that is it for uh, the Salamander's turn here on turn three. We will, uh, I don't think he got any of his objectives, did you? Uh, no, uh, because I'm close to the middle there. So he did not get any of his objectives, uh, which means that I get an additional two points for that. Um, well, he may have gotten, is it out of six? Moral uh, victory! But uh, is my rock grinder? No. Yeah. So <laughs> You got excited because my G Sealers were outside of six uh, for the denial, but my Rock Grinder wasn't. So my Rock Grinder was in there. So uh, rip there. So you didn't get any. You might get rid of one of the cards. Uh, probably hold the line, I imagine. And then uh, I'm going to get two points for that because of the gambit. We'll come back to you with the cards drawn for G Sealer Cult here on turn three. All right. So my gambit, I said two, and then I drew. Had Secure Objective three still. Drew Secure Objective six. Uh, which is back over here. Secure objective five, which is over here. And then I got uh, uh, priority orders received blood and, and then I drew blood and guts, which means that if my warlord, uh, which is my uh, my patriarch, can kill um, a unit in the fight phase, I'll get the point for blood and guts and I will get three additional points for uh, tactical objective. So uh, for the priority orders received. So that is it for uh, the cards. We'll come back to you after movement phase. All right, movement phase here for the Gene Stealer Cult. These guys advanced up over this way. He just moved up over here. He advanced up to there. Um, my neophytes and my armored sentinel back here stood still. And then these neophytes stood still over here. And over here, uh, he advanced up. My I Icon Bearer advanced up. My Aberrants just moved up. And so did the Acolytes moving in over there. Oh, and my Primus is hiding behind the wall over there. We'll see what happens over there. So that's it for the uh, movement phase. We'll come back to you with the Psychic phase. All right, so in the Psychic phase, uh, my Patriarch is going to cast Might from Beyond onto his Gene Stealer friends over there. Looking for a 7. Uh, getting it with a 7. All right. All right, starting off, the Neophyte squad in the building there is going to fire into his Leviathan. So we're gonna go with the se uh, seis seismic cannon. So he's at range 12. So we've got two shots that I'm gonna send in there. So it's a short wave. Whoa, get back here, knocking over my own models. Uh, so this is going to be two shots hitting on, um, whatchamacallit's fours, hitting on fours. That's two hits, strength six. So wounding on fives. We got one wound, AP minus one. No, it goes through. So that is uh, two damage onto him. So now the Neo, the rest of the Neophytes, we're gonna go with the Heavy Stubber on fours, on sixes. Got one wound. That is cocked. Uh, that was he two, two up? Plus. He has a two up last day, so he's good, okay. And now the Grenade Launcher is gonna fire. That's not a hit. And now the Auto Guns and Bolt Pistol are gonna fire in because they're all gonna be wounding on sixes anyway. So these are gonna be hitting on fours. That was uh, not super great. Thank you, sir. Uh, these are now going to be wounding on sixes. Getting one. Looking for two up. Yeah, he's good with a six. Now my Sentinel's gonna fire into his Land Raider over there with the last cannon hitting on a four. That's a hit. That is not a wound. All right, so those Acolytes over there are gonna fire their auto guns, auto pistols. Wound on a six. 
No, nothing there. All right, and that is it for shooting because I am going to try to assault into him with everything. That's what I think. I feel like I feel like I want to try to get him get the last one. So here we go. Uh, we're going to start off with him assaulting into him. So Overwatch. Uh, yep, yeah, over here, please. So the multi or the, the cyclonic melta. Cyclonic melta. We're going to ah. have three shots. Need a six. Looking for sixes. Got one, and then you re-roll one because of the uh, salamander's room. Nope. So one hit though. Uh, wounding on a uh, three. That's a wound. AP minus four. That goes through. So melt it, right? So it's two, two d six. Take the highest. Uh, so two, two, six up. Uh, rugged construction saves. Uh, no, those go through. So he does take the damage. He's down. That knocks him down. Uh, but. Um, He's still alive, which is important uh, for the charge here. And now here comes the uh, the storm cannon. storm cannon array. Ooh, getting a bunch of shots there. This is strength uh, seven. seven, so looking for force to wound. Getting three wounds. AP minus two. So we've got three six ups. Those go through. One damage each, right? Two. Two damage each. Oh boy. Oh that's, boy. That's not good. Looking for six up, ignoring wounds. Only making one, so he is dead. Yes. Oh, that's killer. Uh, does he explode? No, he does not. Oh boy, here, now my my gene stealers are gonna charge into him. So what are you gonna go first? Storm cannon. Storm cannon. Hitting on sixes. Uh, no, not as good on that one. Then we've got the um, Cyclonic. Cyclonic. Um, Melta uh, Lance. Uh, so we got uh, four shots on sixes. Getting two. Rerolling because of the uh, salamanders. Wounding on twos. Two five up invul saves. Oh, and he makes them both with fill faces. Woo! And now the heavy flamers coming in here. So we got six total hits. Strength five, so wounding on threes. We got uh, four wounds there. Four, five up invul saves. Making three of them. Wow, they are doing real good. All right, and their charge distance is totally in. Now the patriarch's gonna go in there. Getting, ooh, I don't think five is gonna be enough. All right, so then over here, we're gonna start with the Primus is gonna charge in there. So he's uh, out of view, so he can't fire Overwatch. So let's see if I can get in and try to save me from all those flamers. Here we go. Uh, five oh, inches was oh. enough, right? I think, hold on, we're gonna find out. Oh. Ooh, yeah, he was just in, all right. <laughs> so now my aberrants are totally in, and same thing with my acolytes are totally in. All right, so starting the uh, fight phase, we're gonna start with my aberrants into his um, into his predator over there. Uh, they are within six inches of the primus. So they're gonna have plus one to their hits, and they are within six inches of the icon who uh, icon bearer who has the relic, um, the icon of the uh, resplendent cult. Um, so these are going to be um, hitting on threes, six two attacks each, hitting on threes. All right. Not super great, uh, but wounding on threes because it's strength 12 now because it becomes strength six um, times two becomes uh, strength 12, toughness seven, right, on them. So looking for threes to wound. So that's two wounds at AP minus three. Sixes. Two sixes. Uh, no, those go through. They're D3 or three, hold on. Straight three damage, so he's got six damage onto him. Now we're going to move on to the uh, the uh, uh, Acolytes over there. So we're going to start with the guy with the Rock Saw. These are two attacks hitting on twos now. That's two hits. Strength eight, looking for threes to wound. That's two wounds. AP minus uh, three. Sixes. Uh, nope. Those go through, so that's two damage each. Uh, down to ten damage. He's down to one wound. And now the two other guys, we've got a leader with three attacks. The other guy has two attacks. These are going to be uh, with the Rending Claws, hitting on twos. All right, those are all hits. Uh, strength four, looking for fives to wound. Uh, we got one wound, AP minus one, looking for a four up. Oh, and he's good. And now they've got their Cultist Knives. One hit, uh, not a wound. And now my Primus is going to attack in. Four attacks, hitting on twos. 
he's going to be using the Toxin Injector Claw. So because it's a vehicle, it doesn't just wound on twos, but it's still strength user. So we're going to have um, wounding on fives. Sixes are AP minus four. Oh, nothing. All right, so now my, my Gene Stealers are going to attack in. We've got 28 attacks uh, between the seven of them there. Uh, this is going to be 24 that are going in there. So I'll have another four attacks after this. These are going to be hitting on twos because the Patriarch. That's a bunch of ones right there. All right, so strength five, wounding on um, uh, fives. Sixes are AP minus four. Ooh, that's a bunch of sixes and a couple fives. Yeah, more sixes than fives. So, all right, so we've got five sixes and two fives. So we're gonna have, um, this is a four up invul save, right? Or yeah, four up invul save. So we've got, um, we're gonna have two that are gonna be at AP um, minus one. So two three ups, those are good. And then we've got five four ups. Oh no, and he is dead. Does he explode? Don't five, do it. Five up. On a five up, he explodes. No, he does not explode. Oh, oh breathing heavy there. All right, so that is uh, that is uh, that is it for him. We'll come back to you with his attacks back with his uh, predator. I'm sorry, his attack, because he's got one wound left. Here goes, on a six. Inception. Uh, no, Ooh, anything else would have hit. That's crazy. Um, so, yeah, so uh, no attack hit there. So that is it for the uh, for the Gene Stealer Cult turn here on turn three. Um, we'll come back to you with the cards that I got. All right, so I scored Secure Objective 6, and I got rid of Secure Objective 3. Um, because I didn't make the charge in and didn't get to kill him with my Patriarch over there, I didn't get my Gambit. So that's two points to my opponent uh, for that one. So we will come back to you with the cards drawn for the Salamanders here on turn 4. All right, so my opponent said 2, and then drew uh, Supremacy, um, and uh, that was it, right? Yeah, just Supremacy. So uh, not great. I don't think it's going to happen here. But we'll see what happens. So we'll come back to you after a movement phase for the salamanders here on turn four all right movement phase here for the salamanders on turn four he backed out of combat over there he moved up towards him and that is it that's all he's got left so we will come back to you with the shooting phase all right shooting phase his land raider is going to fire both of the flamestorm cannons and the multi melter into my patriarch uh because i foolishly left him out there when he failed that charge and then the assault cannon twin assault cannon is going to go into my gene sealers so we're going to start with the multi melter into him first, hitting on a three. Oh, that's a hit. Wounding on a three. Oh, yeah. yeah, first wound on a three. That's a wound. Uh, eight, five up, invul save. No, goes through. Oh, no. Does five wounds to him. Oh, that hurts so bad. No, I wish I hadn't tried the new Warlord trait. <laughs> Another two Flamestorm cannons. Oh. oh, oh it it did, six. it did. So we got seven. Uh, seven into here, uh, strength six, right? So wound, uh, strength five, so wounding on fives. Oh no, fours, wounding on fours, I'm sorry. So that is four wounds. One. AP minus one. So we got five up, invul save or armor save. Whoa! It is strength six. It is strength six. But it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, so that is one save. Uh, so that is uh, two wounds each. Yep. And he is dead. And that is Slay the Warlord. And now the twin assault cannon into them, hitting on threes. Ooh, a lot of ones and twos in there, sir. And then these are strength six, so wounding on threes. You got two wounds, two five up invul saves. Uh, make one of them. All right, and that is it for the Salamander's turn here. Um, he did get area denial, and I think it might be outside of 12, so we gotta check that. He might actually have, um, from the center, check out the, the Primus. Uh, no, no, we're within 12. So he did get the one point from that, uh, but he didn't get the two, so I get two additional points for that. So we'll come back to you with the cards for the Gene Sealer card. Oh, he's going to discard, uh, which one? Supremacy. Supremacy. So we're going to come back to you with the cards for the Gene Sealer card on turn four. 
All right, so I said I would get one for my uh, the gambit, and then I drew Secure Objective 1, Secure Objective 6. Uh, I had Secure Objective 5, and I still had the priority orders, which is not going to happen since my Warlord is now dead. So that is it for the cards. We'll come back to you after movement phase for the Gene Sealer Cult here on turn 4. All right, so movement phase here. They stood still on that objective. My Magos advanced up here one inch. My Gene Sealers advanced one inch, one inch away from them. They moved up over here. My Neophytes on my... Uh, Sentinel stood still back here. These guys all centered around here. My Primus ran behind the wall over there. And that is it for the movement phase. So we'll come back to you after with the uh, psychic phase. All right, so he is going to cast Mass Hypnosis onto his Land Raider. I'm getting the, trying to get the fluids in the to make me feel insane. Looking, uh, looking for a seven, come on, come on. Get in it with seven, that's killer. That's really, that's, that's actually huge. All right, so on to the shooting phase. My uh, Armored Sentinel is going to fire into his Land Raider. Hitting on a four. Nope. All right, these guys are going to fire into the pistols. Getting one hit. Not getting a wound. My Acolyte Icon Bearer is going to fire. All right, now my Neophytes are going to fire into the Land Raider. We're going to start with the Grenade Launcher. That's a hit. That is not a wound. Hits there. Getting two hits. No, no wounds. Uh, no wound. And that is it for the shooting phase. So onto the assault phase. The two wounds are totally in. And now my promise who's hopping on the wall is going to charge into his flame leading the tank of the So looking for a five inch charge. And he gets it. Now the aberrants are totally in. Same thing with the acolytes. Ooh, yeah, just barely, but good thing I put one inch row. All right, so here we go. Now my G-Sales are going to attack in. they got three attacks each now because they uh, don't have the might from beyond. These are going to be hitting on threes because the Patriarch's not around. All right. I actually didn't roll any twos. So that's a uh, four. I'll take that. These are now going to be wounding on uh, sixes, though, because they're strength four. are going to attack in. They've got two attacks each. Uh, strength plus one because of the icon bear and uh, with the relic and also plus one uh, to hit with the prize. So these are going to be hitting on threes. Because it's minus one to hit with the, uh, the the power hammers. Four hits. Moving on threes. Got two wounds. Two six ups. Nope. Failed them both. It is dead. Does it explode? So don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. He's actually at minus one to hit, which means he'd be hitting on seven plus, so he can't attack back. And that is the end of the Gene Sealer Cup turn here on turn four. So we'll come back to you uh, with the cards that I got. So I secured, uh, got secure objective six, got the one point for my gambit, and I'm going to get rid of the uh, priority orders received. Hello, fellow human. I mean, human. I mean, just hello. The Glacial Geek made a mistake, ran out of juice in his mic, and therefore messed up with the audio. Needless to say, what happened was, we, fellow humans, kept charging into his salamander land raider and continued to attack him as he continued to fall back and try to overwatch us. Not much happened in between there. But we will continue and leave you here with the end of the bat rap, as opposed to leaving you with broken eardrums. All right, now all my acolytes that are in there are going to attack in, hitting on twos. All right. These are with rending claws. So he's going to be wounding on sixes, which will be AP minus four. Uh, we got one wound, AP minus four, so looking for a six up. Oh, and he makes it. Wow. We're going to have the guy with the lash whip and bone sword. Got two wounds, AP minus two, uh, makes one of them. Then we got the cultist knives from the others. Uh, that is one wound. Oh, goes through. And now my Primus is going to attack in with the um, the injector claw, hitting on twos, wounding on sixes. 
No, no wound. What that and now he'll get to go back into that gene steal to get revenge. Hitting on sixes. Getting incepted with one. <laughs> so you got one hit. Strength eight. Strength eight, so wound on a two. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, man. That Gene Stealer, man, he's the bane of your existence. All right, so that is uh, that is it for the uh, Gene Stealer cult turn here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we're going to call this game because that was just, that was epic. <laughs> we just wanted to see what would happen there. Uh, I think if those aberrants had gotten in, maybe something would have happened. But, uh, yeah, still, regardless, that was a heck of a lot of fun. Um, wow, that was surprising. I did not expect the gene stealer cult to do that well that was awesome and it really what it came down to was this guy he is my mvp because he's the reason that i could get anybody into combat with all of those flamers um and it's funny because my opponent uh we were talking about you know s scheduling the game he's like i'm gonna bring an army that carries that has nothing but flamers like all the flamers that i could bring i'm like challenge accepted i'm gonna bring my g stealer cult who all want to get in your face and are really susceptible to f the the cleansing flame of the emperor <laughs> The cleansing flame of the uh, of the Prometheum, uh, and I was like, let me see what I can do with this. And I knew that his uh, that that denying him the Overwatch was going to be key. And the new stratagems for the Gene Stealer Cult are freaking awesome. I am a huge fan of them. Um, getting to roll two dice for one CP um, into there got, got that got my Gene Stealer Cult my Gene Stealers into combat there because I rolled a one and a six. So I guess technically I could have been the six, but let's be honest. I was probably going to be rolling the one if I, didn't, if I was only rolling one of them. Um, and then getting to uh, use the command point to send uh, the guy with the rock, uh, rock saw into uh, cult ambush, which allowed him to get from all the way back here, all the way up there, and he did a bunch of damage onto that predator over there. So uh, all in all, it was, uh, it, was, it, was, it was pretty awesome. I really, really am a big fan of them. Um, the warlord trait, uh, I'm probably not going to take it next time. I just took it because I wanted to, but the six up I think is still the better warlord trait at this point. Uh, we'll see what happens when they come out with all of the traits in the codex. Um, but that mission was a lot of fun too going with the gambit because you know early on you just you don't want to you don't want to say you don't want to put out like four because it's you're just not going to get it and you're just sticking there with one but towards the end my opponent you know he really wanted to call for more because he wanted to get those other extra points so um yeah i started i racked him up pretty fast there with with my gc call and i think starting off with getting those six points for the uh for the domination that's the first time i've ever gotten down turn one domination not even like i had a time to like to like to knock him off different things it was turn one domination it was uh yeah that was that was pretty that was uh that was pretty impressive so um yeah i hope you guys have all enjoyed it i certainly have i have been phil the glacial geek as always my opponent's been devin and until next time have fun